Gerald Stanley refused to be caught. <laughs> Stanley could have been anywhere. You're so familiar with that country. There's all kinds of back dirt roads, and there's forest service roads, and he knew them all just like he knew the back of his own hand, probably. And there was no sign of Natalie. Finding Gerald Stanley in that terrain and area that he knows so well is pretty much like looking for a needle in a haystack. But investigators wouldn't give up. Searching for, for Gerald Stanley, but more importantly, we were worried about trying to find Natalie. We held out that glimmer of hope. You always do that you'll find your victim alive. Two days later, the police found Stanley hiding out at a relative's home. They arrested him for the murder of his fourth wife and brought him back to Lake County. <laughs> Natalie's family had urgent questions. Nothing like that. Had he killed her? Or was she still out there somewhere? Maybe he had just injured her badly and thought he had killed her but hadn't. And, you know, we could still find her alive. So that that was our main focus at that time. <laughs> Stein talked to Deputy Kirk about psychic K. Ray. And he said, you're going to think I'm crazy. But he says, I know this psychic K. Uh, she helped me on one other case briefly. She said a lot of things that turned out to be true. He says, what do you think about contacting her? Kirk was ready to try anything. Yes. Yeah. 